I remember this Black Friday, yo, when people used to go crazy for the yeah. deals. And people would literally get trampled. It was pandemonium. It was absolutely insane. This is the Black Friday that I remember growing up seeing. Not the ones that we see now, which is, I mean, let's be honest. Let's be completely honest right here. All right. Let's be honest. Let me turn down the audio on this video. But I remember the time where, yeah, you know, some of the some of the deals in the stores, they were um, they were those kind of deals that were just kind of like price shifting, like those items were already on sale. They just kind of like, you know, they're marketed that way. But certain stores would have what they call the door busters. Those are the deals you want to fight for. Those are the deals these people are after. And then they would have like um, certain stores would have like shelves um, of of doorbuster deals, like shelves right here and pallets and stuff like like right here lined up, you know, ready to go. So <clears throat> and those usually are like it could be various of items. If I remember correctly, some of them were like Blu-ray players back then. Um DVD players, uh, you know, specials on like surge protectors and TVs. They would have like them on the pallets. I think we we seen a little bit of it right here on the on the pallets. And then so it got so bad that at certain times, like certain stores would have to like um, you come in based on how long you are in the line. They would give you a ticket to purchase certain items. And that's how you, you know, they dealt with the situations. But times have changed. My goodness, times have changed. They no longer have those door busters, those deals that are worth. <laughs> and I, to be honest, none of this shit is worth dying for. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say they have deals that are worth dying for. But no, they don't have those anymore. So I went out on, um, I think I was working on that day, but I happened to stop by one of the stores or I was at one of the stores and on Black Friday, it was pff, nothing. Nothing was going on, honestly. Like the deals weren't there. The only one um, deal that Target has was, was for the PlayStation 5. You could get the PlayStation 5 for about 350 bucks. The OG PlayStation 5, because they're trying to kind of like... Um, funnel those out of the system so they can start selling just a slim going forward but other than other than that there wasn't really like crazy deals and, and things that i wanted to get because usually like i plan my games like when i'm purchasing my my games i usually plan them out for black friday usually they're marked down a little bit but this year honestly i've already purchased most of the games that i want for a pretty decent price and so i didn't really I didn't really, you know, participate this year on Black Friday. And the SSD prices, they're about the same prices as they were before Black Friday. So it made no sense for me to kind of like, oh, my God, the two terabytes are about, a, you know, 120 bucks. But that's what they were going for. So it made absolutely no sense for me to purchase them on Black Friday. I could just wait. I'm not really using my PS5 right now. So I'm not, you know dying for storage per se but if i was you know the price is is starting to go down so it's only going to go lower once they're about like a 100 bucks then i'll go ahead and get me a two terabyte for the ps5 or four terabytes or something like that i mean this is well known and documented already <laughs> and another thing too um when it comes to those you know door busters it's usually like the last generation of you know like the tvs and you know stuff that it's just clearance, you know, they want to get rid of their supplies for the new stuff that's coming out. Usually that's when companies will mark them down significantly. But when it comes to any kind of markdowns, it comes from the manufacturer. So it's not really the store doing the markdowns. The manufacturer has to set, the manufacturer is the one that decides to set those prices. And then the retailers just kind of follow along. So if the manufacturer decides not to move on their prices or change the prices, 
then they stay the same at the store. So for me, this is well documented. Um, I've known about this, you know, for a while. How like she, but it's it's so true though. Sometimes they'll just change. I mean, fifty dollars off? Are you fucking kidding me? Back in my day, there used to be like two hundred dollars off. Most people go crazy. But now, <laughs> she's like, I don't get it. But yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. You know, Target got called out for this, and then they obviously had to respond to this um, foolishness. So, like, like what I'm saying is like, the revenue is definitely going to be down for all these big retailers expecting to make a lot of money during Black Friday because that's usually the shopping season. This is when people purchase um, gifts for family members or purchasing, you know. Um, certain things for a little bit lower price but unfortunately you know that's not the case with this year's black friday i think at this point it's kind of like there's there's really no point of it because most of these sales start like super early anyway some of them even start way before uh thanksgiving and then some start right at thanksgiving so it makes no sense at all so you can just purchase whatever you want whenever you want eventually the prices are going to go down and you'll get it for a decent price so there's no there's no urgency for you to, you know, waste your time. Like I've seen another video too um, from a news uh, corporation or news company that they were actually out there. And before people would usually camp out throughout the parking lots, all the parking lots would be full 3 a.m. in the morning after people are done with their Thanksgiving dinner. Guess what? The, guess what? They're going straight to their stores to go camp out and make sure that they get the first deals but that's no longer the case just like it's no longer the case people camping out for new games that are coming out that's no longer that's no longer the case now we're just (laughs) you get the games digitally if you get it digitally you get it at the same time you would have gotten actually you know what you get it earlier because it goes by the release window of east coast so east coast is usually like a 12 you know, 12 a.m. So right here in California, it's nine o'clock. So you would get the games available at nine. But anyway, I just thought about covering this because it's interesting that um, where we came from and where we are now, I feel like there's really nothing um, comes close to what the retailers used to offer, you know, years ago. Now they just, I, do, I think they're, they're doing less than the bare minimum. And I understand inflation and all that good you know, all that stuff plays into, comes into play, but people are real literally like struggling to pay bills. Um, people aren't making as much money as they used to be. Cost of goods is going extremely expensive. Cost of food. So <clears throat> I think they, the retail has really had an opportunity to make more money, you know, if they just lower the prices a little bit more than what they usually would have. Because as you can see here, there's none of that here. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. As always, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And you have yourself a very blessed day.